Hey guys, Joe back in the video, and uh, I just got back from knocking on Broadway, and I'm really excited to, to open up this pack of Pokemon cards. It's original uh, 1996 Pocket Monster cards, and I don't find these too often in Japan anymore, or, or in the hobby shops around Japan. Um, typically I buy these between $3 to $5 a piece. This is about $9, a little expensive, but um, usually these have tons of foil cards in them, the original uh Foils from 1996, but the Japanese version. On this side, though, it has like the two, early 2000s, which I'm not really excited about. But this tells me that there might be at least one, the minimum of one, a uh, foil card in here. But usually, I pull like 10 or 15 foils from uh, these, like a pack like this. This is a totally like a mystery bundle. Um, usually, the the company or the, the store they might know what's in these, so they might not put the best cards in them. But I have pulled Muse, uh, Charizards, Blastoises, crazy cards from these types of, uh, of packs, these mystery packs. So without further ado, uh, let's get into it. Alright, so I'm going to probably divide these in half, make it a little easier to uh, look at. Put this one stack over there. And basically, I'm just going to go through these cards here. Now I can tell already I got... A bunch of a mixture of early 2000s and original um, like 1996 Pock Monster cards. So I don't care too much about these type of cards, but let's go through them anyway. Um, pretty quick, see if I got foils here. That one's definitely upside down. I don't care if they're upside down or not. I'm not, looking, I'm not too worried about those type of cards. I'm looking for foils mainly. So pardon the upside down cards, but also I flip the card over if it's interesting. This one's kind of messed up. No. So is this worth nine dollars? I don't know. Uh oh, pocket monsters. We got Vulpix. Nothing too exciting. Ooh, got a foil uh, Brock trainer. Already have this. I think this might be my third one, but. That's pretty cool. At least I know there's foils in here. So that's one uh, Pock Monster foil. And then I, may go, well, I might go through these, I guess. Let's see if there's any uh, foils. Let me flip these over. There's a Ratatata. So let me see if there's any foils in here. Man, they overpacked these cards and do a very good job. Usually they're all facing the right way and they're all right side up. Jeez. Oh, I missed a foil. Not sure who that is. Hmm. But it's not a foil I really care about, though. Looking for, looking for Pocket Monster foils. And there's none there. Alright. Don't see any Pocket Monsters. Oh, there's one. Make it lucky. Ooh, or canine. I think. May I might be wrong. The heck is that? There's another weird foil. It's the evolution of Porygon. Can't remember the name of that evolution though. Pog Monster, uh, Prime Ape. Nothing too exciting here, guys. This might be a bust. Oh, there's another foil. Of the early 2000s. It's even written on. Jeez. Yeah, I don't come across these too much anymore. I think I bought them all last time I was here. I have a whole binder full of Pokemon cards, the original uh, 1996 Japanese ones. So I, this is how I collected them, is through uh, kind of bundles like this. This is probably one of the worst bundles I've ever bought, though. They're kind of tricky by putting one or two of these pocket monsters in front, thinking you're going to get a bunch of them. Let me move these over to here. So, so far, only I've got one pocket monster foil. That's the Brock Trainer. i still got another stack, though. There's a few more pocket monsters in there. Uh, trainer, coughing, 
nothing too exciting. Nothing here. Got a foil. Not the one I want though. Pocket Monster. Darn. Trainer. Trainer. Man, this is a bust. Nothing here. Wow. I think I got tricked. This one's kind of a special uh, glossy one. It's Abra. I collect these types. They're like uh, not quite foil, but they're like a weird gloss to it. You can see right there. Hmm. I think I already have that one though. Another Prime Ape. One of those crazy foils from a later generation. Not too concerned. Ooh, a couple of Pug Monsters here in a row. Trainer. Trainer. Another one of those glossy ones. It's like a Pidgeotto. But, eh. Nothing too exciting. Kakuna. I really thought this was gonna be a good pack too. A few more pocket monsters here. Oh, energy. Hmm. Wow. And a side duck for our last pocket monster foil. But wow, that was a huge. This pack was a bust. I'm pretty disappointed with this pack. You know, maybe some of these are worth a few cents here and there. You know, I probably didn't get my nine bucks worth. Maybe this one, just because it's old. From so I believe this is from 1996. I have it down there. I probably can't see it, but it does say 1996 right there. But yeah, normally I buy these and I uh, get a ton of foils. But not today. So, uh, sorry guys. Probably not the greatest video in the world, but I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you liked this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, this person a no, thumbs down. I don't even like it. <laughs> so that being said, guys, appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you next video. Take care.